What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, I want to talk again about Tiny, who is T.I.'s wife. And her daughter, Zonique, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tread very lightly on this one because I believe that this is a teaching moment for all of us, all right? Guys, I talked about how Zonique would rather be a baby's mother than be a wife. She doesn't wanna get married because that's too much of a a commitment but she doesn't mind having a baby out of wedlock and that was before the story broke that bad hunter Izzy the guy that she is gonna have a baby with already has two children by two different women but with knowing that Zonique still gets pregnant didn't have any kids before she gets with a guy that already has two kids and then she wants to become a baby mama herself now initially tiny was very disappointed in her daughter and quite naturally um i believe that all of us would would agree that just because we have done something in life that was bad doesn't mean that we want our kids to do the same thing and um you know but zonique is 24 she can make her own decisions. But Tiny recently had an interview with Hollywood Life. And I, I don't want to play the interview because if I do, the, they'll flag it on Instagram. Um, you know how these people are on YouTube. You know, they'll claim that they have the rights to it when they don't. And this is a bunch of mess of garbage. But I'll talk about what she said. So she was asked about her child, Zonique being a third baby mama, right? To Bad Hunter. And what T Tiny said was this. Date music! I said I ended up being a third baby mother too. I wouldn't change it for nothing in the world because at the end of the day, I wouldn't have had the three kids I had with this man. I feel like my kids are the most amazing kids. I don't regret it. Date music! And I also became his first and only wife. Talking about T.I. So to be his third baby mama, it didn't bother me then, don't bother me now. I feel like she is going to follow up my footstep. I don't feel like she's going to regret anything. Hmm. <sighs> that, that was stupid. Okay. This it just goes to show you that Tiny is not a very, very bright person at all. T Tiny is stupid. I'm not mean that to be mean. Tiny is dumb. Have you ever heard Tiny talk? Tiny is very, very stupid. And to say that your daughter is not going to regret anything because you got lucky and you married a guy that had two kids and ended up being T.I. She will regret it because the, the times are different. When you were dating T.I., it was different. You know, guys are high value guys now are are not trying to deal with single moms. Look at how long it took Angela Simmons. To get somebody to wife her up. That's Daniel Jacobs. Angela Simmons couldn't get anybody for years. And I'll be honest. Zonique is not on the level of Angela Simmons in my opinion and looks. But to be a man's third baby mama means that you don't have any standards for yourself. I'm sorry. If you felt like the best you could do was a guy that already had two kids, then you don't have no standards. You just don't. And I feel like a lot of the sisters came on the other side of that argument, and I'm actually proud of this one sister says right here, Zonique being a third baby mama is not cute. Tiny should want more from her daughter. She's right! 
See, and, and you know what? You guys don't give me credit for talking about a lot of sisters. Get it. See, a lot of times we like to play like black women don't get it. Some of them do. They just don't say anything about it. But you know what? See, still fly Nigerian. What, what that may mean, though, is that might not be an African-American sister. That might be a Nigerian sister. And I can tell you right now, in their culture, they don't accept that. In an African-American culture, as a people, we have got, we have, we have, our standards went out the window. That's why people of other groups come here and they beat us. They got standards. They don't let their kids do that. Or you're out of the family. And for the mother to say that. Do you know how many mothers like this are in America, regardless of race? But I talked about this, in, you know, in the other video, that you can't expect your children to be what you are not. And it just goes to show you, no matter how much money you have, you have idiots. And Tiny is dumb. Okay. And I can't really be so mad at Zonique because look at how dumb Tiny is. I mean, think about this. A lot of the people family that we roast on here, people that make bad decisions, you don't, we, we have no idea how stupid their parents are. And I can't be mad at them all the way. What we need, family, I'm going to just be honest right now. Brothers and sisters, especially my black men, black men, we, I want you brothers to listen to what I'm talking about. You brothers are responsible for raising these standards in the black community. Because they're not going to do it. You got to set them. This is why black men have to bail black America out. Black men have to raise the standards. Because they're not going to do it. They're too influenced by what the normality is in the world. You have to say, no, I will not accept a woman that has two, a kid uh, that's pregnant and have two kids by somebody else. That will get you kicked out of the black community. You got to do it. You build a community and keep people out of it. I'm begging all of you black men out there, listen to my voice. Come back to the black community and set businesses up. You buy properties up. You do everything and you get a lot of these people out. I need you brothers to come in and get this money and clean house. And the tiny thinking people out. You get them out. You produce movies, you produce blogs, you produce whatever, and you fight and you get them out. Out. They deserve to be out. Only you can raise these damn standards in the black community. None of these people are going to do it. Some of them know what the truth is, and some sisters get it, but you got to be the ones to enforce it. Don't you give them a ring coming to the table with somebody's kid. And the guy, she got two kids by somebody else. No, it's not acceptable. And the only reason why they feel like they can do that because they don't respect you. That's why. That's why. They don't respect you. There's only one way we can do it. Be successful and keep people out who don't want to follow the rules out of marriages. Let them keep dealing with Pookies and Ray Rays. No, you will not get a high value man, Angela Simmons. After you mess with Pookie and Ray Ray. Zonique, no, you will not go on by. You will stay there with them. And the only person that can make that happen is you. Why? Because you're gonna help a lot of people when you do that. You're gonna clean us, you're gonna clean it up. And we got to be cleaned up as a people. But we can't we keep falling for this foolishness. Because guess what? The people who make the laws for us. The liberals and the Democrats and the Jews. Here and there. They don't follow these rules. The Jews not going to. I mean, I'm, to be honest. 
they're not gonna allow their kids to do this. The whites, the Chinese, the Asians, they don't allow their kids to do stuff like this and be accepted, you're out. They will never accept nothing like this. We're the only people that accept low standards and that's why we don't own nothing. We don't have shit. I'm sorry for going off, we don't have nothing because we accept anything and everybody who has an advantage over us has standards. And every time I'm looking at black people, I'm looking at, well, he could have did this. He should have did that. He had the potential. She had the potential. Man, look at her, man. She would be wife material if she didn't have three kids by three different dudes. But man, I can't deal with them. I hate looking at that like that. I'm sorry. Looking at, looking at some of our brothers and sisters, looking at failed potential. She could have been this and would have been that. And that's where we're at. Black men, you gotta come and set these standards up. Because our people need it. That's why we need you to be more successful in business. We need you to have more money. We need you to have everything more to put people on notice. This is not acceptable, Tiny. Guys, I gotta get out of here. I'm It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. It's another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Subscribe, hit the bell. As you know, the buffoon remains the awesome. I might check out the first comment pinned to the top. All my information is there. Guys, I really appreciate you for all that you do. And um, thank you so much, brothers and sisters. Peace out. Oh, by the way, don't forget the Black Men in the Perfect t-shirts. I'm out.